So when Roland called me, it was kind of a funny story. When Roland called me and <laughs> on the phone, I pick up the phone and his name, he said, my name is Smiley and I am looking for a Pilates instructor and I'm blind and I'm going, yeah, right. It's one of those calls. But you never know. So I said, sure, when would you like to come in? Which startled you, right? Yeah. I mean, right away. And he, we set a date. And so I'm waiting, and he shows up right on time with his guide dog, and off we go. And there was never any problem. I, you know, he asked, what is this? And I said, mm -hmm. equipment, we'll go mm -hmm. right here. And we started working. We both came into it virtually uh, with the great unknown. Uh, I, not knowing Pilates, and she, not working with somebody who was visually impaired. Because I feel that when people say, well, how is it teaching somebody who doesn't have any, no different. I need to be able to tell him what to do, and he needs to, ab to be able to find it. Now he's a lot less distracted looking around and interacting with other people because he's so focused. Mm -hmm. So he takes it to his head where we should all take it, and then he instructs his muscles to do that. And he has this great awareness about that. It, it's building the confidence uh, of an individual uh, Pilates is, is helping to do that by building your confidence in yourself and your, your, your physical well-being and uh, your stature and that you have control over uh, where your body is and will be and uh, you're not constantly fearing the, the world that's in front of you. It, it's almost like some form of meditation that it, because you, you really have been focusing on just yourself and uh, your body and uh, getting all that wonderful feedback that I, that I walk away here from the studio after Pilates. Yeah, and I really think your body knows that we're doing something good for your body. Yes. It knows that. You know, it speaks to you. It says, yeah, that feels good. When my Pilates day starts, I will arrive here at the studio and I get into a Pilates uniform, you know, just basically a t-shirt and shorts. And I'm watching him. He doesn't know that. Mm -hmm. And I'm checking to see what his body looks like on that particular day. So sometimes he'll be a little slouched, and sometimes he'll be tired. All of these things I will see. We then proceed to discuss what we're going to do. We start out over on the armchair, and we spend quite a lot of time opening the chest and relaxing the shoulders. Mm -hmm. and Exhale deep in the abdominals and reach away. Your Just torso. making that connection with the lower back and our abdominals. Yeah. And then if that all looks pretty good, then we usually head over to the reformer. Yeah, I, um, you know, Roland keeps focusing on the fact that he can't see. But I focus on the fact that he has the same body I do, pretty much, right? So if I want him to do something with his body, I know what I have to do to get my body to do that. And so I just have to keep talking to Roland until we find the way in which mm -hmm. Roland can find yeah. that too. And go to the sacrum, ribs together, nice wide collarbones, reach for the straps behind you. It, at times when I'm on the short box or the long box, it can get a, a little bit frightening with, with you know, you're, you're hanging out there in space with some of the exercises, but when Andrew says to me, focus on where you are with, with your legs, what's holding you up, and with that confidence, I, I, I feel it kind of going through my, my system that I'm, I'm building that confidence in myself. So it, it is a lot of fun. It's a, it's a lot of good social interaction with a lot of tremendous exercise uh, gain that you through the various uh, exercises that are offered. But I find it a, lot, a tremendous amount of fun. But you know, at the same time, it's a very serious uh, exercise routine.